keep it relatively specific with you. And it's today emerged that, yes, yet again, a think tank has come out and said, well, maybe we need to do more to stop people coming across the channel, that maybe what we need to do is to actually get us out of the ECHR. And our Home Secretary said, oh, yes, all of this is lovely. We need to send people off to Rwanda. But yet again, nothing is really being done about this. And, Jonathan, I am sick and tired of being lied to. I don't know about you, but I certainly am. The fact is that the vast majority of people coming over here are not women and children fleeing war, are they? No, you're right, Patrick. We know that 70% at least are men between 18 and 35 years old. So as you say, it's quite abhorrent that we have a situation where men, in particular single men, are choosing to illegally come to this country via safe third countries like France and putting humongous strains on our public services, as well as putting humongous strains on the public finances. You know, Stoke-on-Trent, Patrick, have banged on about it before. I think yeah. a member of the voluntary asylum dispersal scheme time and time again, Serco keeps dumping on this city time and time again because yeah. what's gone out of hand is that now after having 800 people already here we're now seeing two hotels and i'm sure more to come being used to house asylum seekers or supposed asylum seekers and of course most importantly illegal economic migrants